Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Renew, your daily Bible devotional brought to you by Mainland Baptist Church from Galloway, New Jersey. I'm Gary. I'm Barbara. And today's message is entitled, The Unfailing, Unchanging Word of God. And it is based on God's Word found in Matthew chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. There we read, Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. As Christians, we have been given a resource to help us learn and grow and develop as God calls us to do, his word. Again and again, the Bible tells us that it is nothing less than inspired, infallible, and unchanging. Yet throughout history, beginning in the Garden of Eden, people have doubted and questioned what God said. While it is certainly possible to misunderstand or misinterpret the scriptures, they are completely accurate and reliable. The Bible does not need to be revised, updated, or edited. It needs to be understood, believed, and practiced. Dr. John Rice said, you cannot hold on to the Christ of the Bible unless you hold on to the Bible itself. Anyone who is ashamed of the word of Jesus Christ is ashamed of Christ. They stand or fall together. The Bible is the word of Christ and the words are the words of Christ. There are many voices that try to make us doubt what the Bible says, but none of them can take away the power of the Bible in our lives. Only we can do that. We must learn what it says, read it, and study it, hear it preached and taught, and hide it in our hearts. Then we must do what it says in faith. Any doubt about what God has clearly said takes us down the wrong path. So remember, there are many voices in the wind, but only one that saves a soul from sin. Thy word I have hidden in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. So today's growth principle for this lesson is that when we allow God's word to be questioned, we diminish its power in our lives. Thank you for joining us today on Renew as we are reminded by Romans chapter 12, verse 2, to be not conformed unto this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye-bye.